time to replace the points with this electronic module. The downside of this is, if there's a nuclear explosion, this car won't run. Oh well. Now, first problem, these wires are not going to reach the coil. So, we've got to lengthen them. Get up the wires and then put a bit of solder on them. Just going to put this over the other stuff. Like this. Now that's going to have enough wires to go to the coil. Alright, so we're going to have to take out the points and the condenser because we're going to have to replace all that shit. Alright, so the old points have been removed and this is what's going to replace the old technology with new. Tribute looks like with points removed. Then we're going to put this ring that comes with the kit onto there. And this basically has got magnets inside. And that's what's going to trigger our signal. So I knew it wasn't going to be a perfect fit. Because it's actually for a different car. So what I had to do was file a little, little dent in here. And just file this edge a little bit. That's all. So you can see why I had to file the module. You can see on this side. See how that pin sticking into it? So I had to file that. And on this side, there's a wire, ground wire running underneath it. So, problem solved. So the kit actually came with a bag of cocaine to like really give the motor a bit more power. Liven it up. Nah, just kidding. This is conductive paste. So this is so the electronics inside here can better transfer the heat when they get hot. So you don't cook the microchip inside. So you just put it on like this. Alright, so we've got this system fitted. So the way that it works is that little ring that I put on's got four magnets in it. So one magnet for each spark plug. When this rotates around, this is basically like a, a magnetic pickup, so it's like a like a pickup on the guitar or something with a little I guess like a little circuit inside. And what that does, every time the magnet comes around to here, this essentially shorts out these two wires. And what that does, because these two wires go to the coil, so the winding in the coil shorts out, which collapses the magnetic field, and the collapse of the magnetic field sends a high energy spark down into the distributor and then into the corresponding plug. So we're going to replace this coil too because this coil is designed to work with the resistor and the reason for that is uh, when you have mechanical points what happens is when you crank the car to start it essentially this bypasses the resistor so it gives like a really strong spark when it's trying to start then when the car starts and runs this resistor comes into the circuit and it basically uh, limits the voltage from 12 to 6 and that's done so when mechanical points open and close so they don't burn out so like they don't arc up as much but because we replaced our system with electronic module there's no need for that now 
there's no mechanical points there's nothing to short or nothing to burn out so we're gonna put this coil in which is designed to work with electronic ignition so that's it everything's together looking shiny all we gotta do is uh, start it up the battery shit so I gotta charge it all the time anyone got a spare battery about this size I'll give you a six pack for it